This is my Love Island blankie. Everybody's been wondering what this blankie is. <laughs> And it's made for Love Island. So let's watch Love Island season three, episode fucking one. More, I don't know, really trashy reality that I end up actually liking in the end. Yeah, by the way, before we get started, if you haven't yet already, and come on, why are you watching this channel if you haven't done this yet? Check out my free online dating class. It teaches you the number one thing that you need to change to your online dating approach that will only guarantee really good, attractive dates that you have chemistry with. That's about it, let's get started. The call's gone out. What is happening? <laughs> Wait is over. Mm, the wait. I just feel like there's a lot of people like looking like this. Mm, I'm about to see a lot of videos. Mm. Ooh. Do you feel uncomfortable right now? That's because it's dumb. Over the next yep. six weeks. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> How did I fucking guess this? Oh my God, this is insane. Yeah, I cannot even believe we're here. Enough. Yeah, between me and you. On this alone time right now, I want to be completely honest yeah. with you from the entire get. Same. I'm looking for personality. I yeah. mean, your personality is on point. Thank I mean, you're you. Great. Anytime you mention that you're looking for somebody with personality or anything that has to do with personality, <laughs> that means that that's not true. That's like somebody going on a date and going, I don't want drama. Drama, not having that is very important to me in a relationship. No dramas. Mommies. I was nervous about coming here because I feel like I'm like, oh, girl's gonna be in like makeup all the time. Dude. Like, this is probably the most makeup Dude, you'll see me in. Like, it's all natural is where it's at. Yeah, like, like it's just. 100%. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, I completely cool. did. You're gonna that. make me cry. I'm not even kidding. No. All natural is where it's at. In other words, a nice foundation, good base, duh, obviously eyeliner, maybe some eyeshadow. All natural. From me to you, complete honesty, Hell transparency. Yeah. yeah. Someone comes in here and you're like, yo, I'm feeling that. Right. Or if you're feeling one of these dudes, let me know. Ex like, Literally let me know same. what's ever going like, on. Like, if someone in here if is your type If me and you start building a connection in, and yes. something goes on, yeah, then we're but good. it's like. Uh, he was trying to be like too nice. Now, remember how I talked about in Too Hot to Handle, how I forget their names, but they were kind of doing the same thing. So, how do you feel about the other girls in the villa? Come on, spill the tea. Ah. Spill the tea. They were talking about like, yeah, I, you know, I was seeing you eyeing other people or whatever. Like they were talking about them potentially being with other people. It came off natural with this guy. Like it's too much. It's like he's trying to show that he's a good guy. If you want to fuck anybody, anyone, it's cool. Let me know. Let me know that you want to fuck them. Just cool. Fun fact, oh I'm actually petrified of heights. Really? Yeah. Like when no you way. look down, does that scare you or no? A little. Yeah. yeah. But you're gonna keep me safe? Yeah, I will. I'll keep you grounded because I'm really <laughs> short. So how is a beautiful girl like you still single? Um, I think that I'm just like holding out. Yeah. So do you like date a lot of people? No, I, I don't really date at all. So no one takes you out? Well. I don't think I let people take you know me what? out. <laughs> let me take you out. Come on, come on, let me take you out. I will let you take me out. All right, cool. I'm a straight shooter, like what you see is what you get, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm, my jaw, when I saw you, I was like. So I would say he's personally like going way too hard into how attractive he thinks she is. I mean, I think she finds him just as physically attractive. And on these shows, you know that their personality types are kind of focused on the outside, like how the people look. And so it's kind of okay for them to just talk about their looks all the time because that's kind of what their personalities are like. I'm not gonna say the word that you think I'm gonna say. I'm just going to talk about it in a non-biased way. Their personalities that like things about what they're talking about are things that are good for them, may not be good for you. So again, in a normal world, doing what he's doing, like laying so hard into how good she looks and all of this stuff, it's a little too much. Like I'm like the biggest proponent of talking about how you're attracted to somebody. Please do it. But he just kept going. <laughs> Our jaw was dropped. Oh, jaw was dropped when I saw you. <laughs> okay. Am I your type? Like you're kind of like, Blonde-ish. Like dirty and I don't, blonde. I never go for blonde. Really? Yeah. And then you came out and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I picked you and I definitely want to see, see where this goes. Like you're yeah. definitely my type, you know what I mean? And yeah. uh, 
let's have some fun. All right. Like why on these reality shows, do they only talk about the relationship they're having? Like talk about stuff you like talking about. Like I liked when he started saying, oh, um, fun fact, I'm afraid of heights. I was like, ooh, tell me more about that. Is there a story where one time you had a scary experience and then ever since then you wouldn't go like on cliffs? Come on, like let's learn about you. The whole conversation, and I found this happened on The Bachelor too with Matt James season and all the other seasons, is like all they did was say like, I'm really liking our relationship right now. And I like you and I could see it going forward. And I blah, it's just like, oh, come on. Like, let's actually like talk about stuff we like. Let's connect outside of talking about the moment that's happening right now. Oh, oh you are short. Yeah. <laughs> what laugh was that? Yo, you are short. <laughs> It was a little jokery, but not like the good joker. It was more like the Jared Leto joker. Hold on. Oh, oh you are short. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? <laughs> it wasn't even funny. He just said, oh, you are short. Sarcasm as hell, but oh, I'm like heart, huh? a little scared, yeah. It did hurt my heart though. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I like, mean, oh. it was, honestly, no. it was to me just, <laughs> Physical attraction is one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's a lot lower on importance of personality and mm. like getting to know the person. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite. They have to show so badly that they're just not interested in physical, but they're interested in more. Like, of course. Like, why in fuck's God would you only want to date somebody for looks? Like, why do you have to mention that you also like people for their personality as well? This is the second person on the show that said it so far. I'm just confused. Like, was this not an obvious thing? If you click with someone, like, why hold back those feelings, you know? Like, right. Jeremy's like, a really sweet dude, but I am nervous and maybe take some baby steps because I don't know guys like intentions. Oh my God, here I am being sensitive already. <laughs> I've been hurt before and uh, they say one thing and then I'm misled when it's already too late and my feelings are like, to involve. I'm just gonna, you know, say off the bat, she's my favorite person. If you do have these like past issues with dating, why are you trying to find love on Love Island? It's kind of like the worst move you could make. But I came here to see if I could put my wall down for someone that deserves it. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm a pretty nice guy, I feel like, so it okay. should be fun. What kind of sentence was that? I'm I'm hoping, like I'm just chalking it up to editors, and if you know reality, like you know that they literally just chop up words and make their own sentences. So I'm a pretty nice guy, so it should be fun. What the fuck does that mean? So are you ready to share bed tonight? Oh my God. That's gonna When's be... the last time like you slept with? Wait, <laughs> First day, first day, get in. My bad. You know what I mean. Yeah, I like, like I mean, it's, it's been a minute. Yeah? We vibe together, we're fine, so I'm sure it won't be like awkward. He's so genuine, like I can sense that he means well and he is actually honest with me and I want to continue to vibe tonight. I was thinking about leaning in for a kiss, but I don't know if that's um, too early, but you know, you never know how long you're gonna be in the villa for, so I feel like I should maybe speed up the process. <laughs> Do you swear? I don't think so. I hope I don't. So I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I guess. you'll you'll let me know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. Why is she into him? Like I get that he's incredibly like Zoolander level good looking, but like he's gotta be the most boring person I've ever seen in my life. And he's not even like looking at her. He's like, hey, 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 this is cool. This is good, this is dope. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, whatever, it's cool, it won't be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she chose Love Island for a reason, again. Like, it's her interests. This could probably be having some kind of dudes in the comments going, this is how women are bell. They like <laughs> Women will say the same thing about men. Men only like this stuff. They only like lugs. That's just not true. 
However, the people that are cast on reality TV, game dating shows, those are those kinds of people. We like watching those people. We like laughing at those people. We like screaming at the screen about those people. Most people actually like people with really, really good personalities and that are also physically attractive. They like the balance. They like both. But people that go on these shows, I won't say the word that describes them because I am not going to put a negative bias on them, but their kinds of personalities are just more focused on the physical. So even though I think she has the coolest personality of all of them so far, and I'm flabbergasted that somebody with a really good personality is attracted to somebody with, let's just say it, negative personality. <laughs> that doesn't mean that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. She's allowed to be attracted to that. And if that makes her happy, let that happen. But. I have a feeling the same issues that she dealt with in the past about dating, she's about to experience similar issues because of what she gravitates towards. Am I excited to share a bed with you tonight? 100%. Yeah, like, too. do I want to cuddle? Yeah. I don't know if the other couples have the same chemistry that me and Shannon do. I think we hit it off well to start, and I think we're just going to continue take our relationship to the next level. I was going to ask you that. Are you a cuddler? Yeah. Me too. It's like the oldest line in the book. Are you a cuddler? Oh my God. Oh yeah. When I sleep with strangers, they need to be cuddlers. It's kind of a thing I have. Are you a cuddler? Would you like to cuddle with me? Nothing else though. That wasn't implying anything further. Just truly cuddling. I'm just teasing him. It's a great thing to say. It kind of is like the thing, if they say yes, then it means that they want to cuddle too. It's a good thing to say. Where y'all going? to talk more. We couldn't sit down upstairs. It was all rainy and like wet. Damn, yes, let's talk more. This girl is so sweet and like, um, I like her, but I think okay. she's going to break his That's heart. Right. I just wanted to sit down, touch you a little bit. I wanted to go from one rainy and wet place to another rainy and wet place. I honestly think we click on all cylinders right now, but I think it's kind of like almost scaring her a little bit, but I think we're honestly at a good pace. I don't think we're trying to force anything. It's pretty natural. Quit looking at me like that. Like what? Like that, you know how you're looking at me. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that laugh, I can't stand it. You know what's interesting? The people on Too Hot to Handle of season two, so much more, I don't know, I don't wanna use the word charming, but yeah, more charming than these people. These people kind of seem like second tier personalities. I don't know, they seem a little more vain. I feel like the too hot to handle ones, yeah, they're obviously vain and all of that stuff, but they were like so comfortable with like being sexual. They were so comfortable with like interacting with each other. I don't know, something feels like kind of just cringy to me here. And I guess that's what they wanted for the show. I definitely like the cast of Too Hot to Handle season two more than, more than this. Sit. Should we sit together? Let's act like we like each other? Mm -hmm. For a little? Yeah, why not? This just reminds me of when I was like really young and I would first go to a club and I would see all of these like cool hot people sitting at the couches talking to each other and they were being all cool and hot with each other. And I always remember looking at them and going, man, those cool and hot people must be saying some like fucking cool shit because they keep talking to each other and I have no idea what to say to anybody. Why do these people just keep talking and they look like they're so comfortable doing their thing, being cool and hot talking. And it wasn't until a little bit later that I realized they were not talking talking about anything good. Like nothing that was actually fun or interesting to me. Now I'm not saying that it wasn't good to other people, yes. But because what I was seeing like at a club or a bar seemed so glamorous and cool and exciting to me, I was just assuming that what everybody was talking about was just as cool and glamorous and exciting. And I didn't realize what most people are talking about is pretty basic stuff. It really is not that interesting. And the conversation that I thought they were having in my mind was my standards of conversation. So that's what I was placing onto them. This is basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you that you have much better conversation skills and social skills and charm than the people that you see out that you might be intimidated by. You could spend your life thinking that everybody else is having a lot better time than you. Or you could listen to me and just go, oh yeah, Anthony, that, what he said sounded kind of right that like my standards of conversation are pretty high because of people that I like and what they talk about 
in all likelihood, they are talking about nothing that you care about. Especially when you go into places that you don't really relate to. Like for instance, I don't really relate to a lot of people that are in nightclubs. That's just not my vibe. I would rather go to some like weird fucked up bar in Brooklyn and that's what I did. I would go to those bars. Uh, I would go to those events. I would go to those parties. I would go to art galleries. Art gallery events in any city are for me at least the best place to meet people because it's bringing in people that are interested in art, that are likely creative, that are likely a little bit more ambitious because they're going to a place where art is being bought and sold. So there's a good likelihood that the people that I'm interested in are going to be there and we're gonna have similar interests and we're gonna have a lot of fun things to talk about that match my standards of conversation. It's so important and I can't say this enough and I know I've said this in so many videos, but it's more about finding your tribe rather than than trying to up your confidence, up your social skills. You likely are really already a confident and really socially adept, charming person. We just gotta put you in the right place. Kiss the top three hottest islanders of the opposite sex. That was me and Shannon's first kiss. I didn't like that it was in a challenge. I'd rather it be more organically and naturally, but there's definitely something there. You got two more, baby. Oh I got two right here. Hey, damn. He Woo! went legendary. <laughs> Three right here. Damn. He went legendary. I love how these people are in their 20s, and that guy looks like he's like, is he like 30 yet? And they're playing like seven year old games. Okay, maybe not seven. <laughs> They're playing like teenager games. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why did I say seven? I think these are fun. I think these are cool, but it's just, it is really funny watching games where it's like two people have to kiss one person and then that person has to kiss another person. And you can't say if you liked it or not, but you could tell your best friend after if you did. Uh, like that guy's 30. What's a passionate kiss real quick? I'll show you. I bet. <laughs> But ultimately, like, this is what everybody wants. Like, these are the type of games that everybody wishes they played. Like, they wished there was some, they wished there was some, like, unknown producer putting together these cards for people to tell them to start making out with everybody. All of these people, they wished that would happen. It would just be prolonged even further for probably days, if not for these games. So, yeah, they're cute and they're fun, and I like them. It is funny to watch them play them. Just the eyeliner that you find the sexiest. Was he like purposely trying to turn every vowel into an aw? Cause every islander that you find the sack here. The person to your left must come up with a dare for you. I dare you guys to share a 10 second passionate kiss. Passionate kiss? Passionate. Okay. okay, I'll just be on you. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy! What if they were like, I dare you guys to just fuck right here, just right on this couch, just I dare you. It was a dare. Like they're already at kissing and it's great kissing, kissing, just keep kissing, kissing, kissing. But what if one of them just laid down the biggest dare? Just fuck, just I just want you guys to have sex right here, I dare you. What would happen? Would they just go, uh, like look at the producers and the producers are like, uh, we're not gonna do that. Choose something else, like say something else. I honestly believe that some of these people would actually just do it anyway. Just be like, yeah, you are, yeah, is it dare? Whatever, you wanna, you wanna do it? Like I could just see this whole group turning into just a big porn group. That's what you call an orgy. <laughs> I like how she's humping him too. She's doing the up and down thing. She's really working for this. That was hot. I was giving 100% with that kiss. He's just so sexy and so I had to show off, show out a little bit. By the way, I mean, I was just joking about like the fuck thing, but she basically just fucked him right there. I mean, they had their clothes on, but you can't get much closer to fucking than what she was doing to that man. I'm from Colombia and I'm a bartender. My DNA is like that salsa, that flavor, that is gonna be like a romantic, I'm really down to earth. I am like full of good stuff. This fire's 
I love to be in a relationship. I was really hoping that was his online dating profile and it was gonna say, I am full of good stuff. You gotta know, when y'all first came in, I'll start with you, which girl will call your eye first? Ooh, that's a good question, man. But it's Virtual. hard to know right now. I mean, everyone is beautiful here, yeah, and yeah. I want so, just to know everyone. I don't go like really to looks. Like I really go for what is like inside. Like I know it's like yeah, yeah the hundred percent, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Stop talking about how much you like personality, and actually show your personality and get other people to show their personalities instead of talking about it all the time. That's all they do. All these people where I won't say the word that you know I'm thinking is they just talk about how much they like personality and they never actually show personality or get it. All right, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little triggered here. But like, <laughs> they're, still, they're trying to figure out, but y'all, yeah, y'all look great. The so. first day, like, yeah. Yeah. Cinco has like amazing skin and like nice dark chocolate, very muscular. You must be getting every female in the world. Like all you gotta do is like give a side eye, and they're just like chasing after you. I'm not the chasing type anymore. Like they have to come to me. I'm not the chasing type anymore. I stopped that with long hair boy. I think his name was like Jeremy or something. Long hair boy is the last one. Never again will chase. I'm not the chasing type I'm not going to chase him I stopped it with long hair boy this is such a, a pleasant surprise to have you two walk in yeah. like a little bomb like that was a good bomb did he go do you like bombs that was a good bomb <laughs> what Cinco they got the upper hand right now you know no girl is safe so you guys have one day to pick oh. Damn, bro. Things happen fast here in Love Island. It's a quick, quick turnaround. You got 24 hours. Talking about 24 hours. All right, well, that was fun. 3,000 likes. Let's get it to part two. And I'll do a part two of Love Island. This is fun to watch. Trashy reality dating shows are my bread and butter. Just give them to me. Give me more. Whether it's Big Ed, whether it's Too Hot to Handle. Mm. There's too many to pick. Love Island is the current one. That's it, and once again, if you're looking for your own Love Island, ah, see how I did the transition there? You can get the free 20 minute online dating class that I have for you in the link in the description. If you've been watching my videos or you're a subscriber and you didn't already watch that class, like why? Yeah, that's it. <laughs>